called me up in 1980 and he said, Tyrone, we want you to go to the legislature. I thought he meant go do some research, <laughs> and pick up some information. And I said, okay, what you want? He said, we want, no, we want you to run. I said, what, me? I'm a civil rights worker, man. I'm a, you know, militant, radical, hated by the media, hated by white folks all over this country. He said, Tyrone, they've elected your daddy. They look like you, Jose Wheeler. They call Jose my daddy. Okay. Jose was like my godfather in the movement. And then he, he called Dr. Ralph David Abernathy. And Dr. Abernathy called me and said, Joe Boone just called me, Tyrone. We think it's time for you to go to the legislature. I was like 28 years old. And he said, we will elect you just like we elected Jose. They started the ball to roll and it just kept going and finally, here I am running. And we win. And we <laughs> and how long and we did you stay? 30, 35 years. Yes, <laughs> we Jesus. Yes. Years. But it all started because of Reverend Joe Boone. He started it. Right. And it just kept going and going and going. And you know, we won. I said, what? These are the stories that I love. This great years. history. We're very proud of ourselves. Um, we think we made a difference to some extent. We changed the state flag. We got more African American judges across the state. Prosecutors. I just saw Judge Clarence Cooper, federal judge, yes. walking out a minute ago. Yes. He grabbed me outside and Tyrone. I said, Judge, it's good to see you. Is he still practicing? No, he's retired from the federal bench. He was a he was a local judge, Fulton County first, Superior Court. Then he went to the federal bench. I think President Carter wanted him. He was in the White House, but we got more black judges. We had to sue the state to get the judges. Then we got Dr. King's uh, statute at the state capitol. Um, we did a lot across the years, and, and you can see all of that if you go to our Moore's Ford Facebook page, Moore's Ford Movement, M-O-O-R-E-S, Ford, like the Ford truck movement. Okay. All of that history is there. Uh, you can go to historymakers.com, historymakers.org, uh, our history is in the Library of Congress, oh, thanks to the history awesome. makers. Uh, it's out there. We just did a documentary with NBC Universal this year, July this year, in Monroe, Georgia, around the last open mass lynching case that remains unsolved. And you ought to view this documentary. It was produced by a young sister and a young white guy. She's 27. I read a little bit, not too long. Yes, yeah, a young sister. She's from Charlotte, North Carolina. She's uh, 28 years old, and she is in charge of all social media for NBC University. About your height, complexion, from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I, when I met her, I thought she was a high school student. And she said, no, Mr. Brooks, I am working every day. I'm in New York. I'm at, I'm at 30 Rock in New York. And